for a loan. Okay? In reality, we said giving lending money when the person really needs it is recommended. But the point is, in this instance, no. Okay? Because lending money is not billati hi ahsan. Lending money in this instance is not something good because there is a high risk that you will never get the money back. Okay? There is no benefit if you look billati illa billati ahsan, meaning fi manfa. I mean, when you touch the money of the, of the orphan, there is manfa, there is benefit, maslah. So, what, what kind of maslah? Is or this orphan is getting from lending his money. You cannot charge interest. It's riba. So the least that will happen, or the most actually will happen, is you get the same money back. So where is the manfa? For the orphan, for the money of the orphan, there is no manfa. Okay? So lending the money is not is not part of lihsan. Some instances, let's say there is a disaster in an area and uh, where this money is, is, is existing and there's a lot of uh, robbery and a lot of stealing and you're worried that money might be stolen, then some of the ulama said, you lend it to someone so he becomes responsible. So if anything happens to the money, it's not your responsibility. He's still obligated to give it back to you. So this way you protected the money of this of this orphan. Just an example some of the ulama have mentioned. Okay, what's about giving salah? Okay, I'm the wali, I come to the masjid. Uh, after salah, there's the people in charge of the masjid, they say, we need $5,000 or we need $2,000 to pay the bills. We need salah. Can I give salah? No. Why? It's not his money. Huh? It's not his money. It's somebody else. It's not true. The money of the wali, it's the money of the orphan. But the main reason is, what is the benefit? Yes, there is benefit, يعني منفع معنوية. That is صلاح with Allah and all that. But here we're talking about the money itself. Okay, the amount we're talking about. So regardless of that the issue is it's not your money first thing, but the second thing, giving that salaqah will decrease the amount. So that is not al husna that is not ihsan, that is not doing good for the benefit, for the benefit of the of the orphan. So salaqah as well is no for wali to give that. <clears throat> Another question that might uh, arise is uh, can I spend on this orphan? Uh, for his school. You know what? We put him in a private school. No. If there is no necessity to put him in that private school over public school, then you are not allowed to spend from his own money. If someone volunteered that he will spend on him, that is fine. If someone volunteered will pay his tuition, that is fine. But to take from his money to send him to private school Unless he needs it, let's say he has disability and some private schools provide better education or whatever, that is fine. But just for the fact, public school difference, you have no right. If you want to spend from your own pocket, go for it. All right? So that is another issue because it will decrease the money and there is no, no asset. <coughs> also, it's the obligation of the way, obligation of the person who is in charge to take care of the money in the sense make sure that the money does not disappear does not decrease and one of the things that will decrease money is spending, nah. spending? No. yeah spending but there is something let's say he doesn't spend but there is something that the, his, the money ha has to be paid over this money Yes, it's an orphan money, it's a majnoon money, but still this money must, you must pay. If it meets a nisab, reaches the nisab over a year, then it must, you must pay zakah on it. So now imagine that uh, you take the money, you're in charge of an orphan's money when he's three years old. 
Imagine until he reached the age of puberty, let's say 15, and every year you pay zakat, every year you pay zakat, obviously the money might vanish. I mean, it's not going to vanish, but it's going to decrease. So you're not doing him a favor. So you're obligated that you take care, you make your best effort to make sure that this money does not decrease. That's why Umar ibn Khattab used to advise those people who are in charge of and who are in this situation to put the money in tijar, in business, so it will grow. At least if it doesn't grow, it doesn't decrease. Whatever the growth can be paid as a cat, they're fine, the money stays. Another solution can be, who's smart here? Who can think of something that I can take that money or that cash put it in one way and I don't have to pay zakat and keep the money the same way and maybe even grow gold huh? gold that gold if it's you buy for tijara it's there is zakat State, buy a house and there is no ha no in no zakat in the house itself. You put it for rent. The zakat is on the house or on the rent. Mm -hmm. On the rent. There's no zakat in the house. But you don't go buy a piece of land with the intention of zakat of tijara business. Because then you have to pay zakat. If you buy a house, people start using, most probably the house will not lose value after 10-15 years. But at the same time, there is income coming out of it. All right, and this way, you don't have to pay the cap on the on the house itself. You only pay the cap on what comes out of that, of the rent. If it stays, meets in this house, stays for a year, and you can use that to spend on the on the orphan. So you have to be smart. قال عمر الجرور تجر بأمال يتامى كي لا تأكلها الصلاق. So if someone says I can't do either. I can't put it in business, I don't know. Uh, I can't buy a house, I don't know. Then we tell him. So go kill yourself. Go kill yourself. <laughs> we say, don't be in charge of him. You turn away the responsible. If they ask you to be in charge, if you're his uncle, and you cannot meet these criteria, you cannot do this stuff, Stay away from it. Say, I cannot handle it. Okay? I cannot take care of it. Let someone who can do that uh, do it. And Aisha anha, reported that she used to be in charge of her uh, nephews and nieces' uh, money and she used to put it in business. Okay? Tijab for this money not to decrease. Ibn Taymiyyah was asked about. Can we buy Udhiyya for him? Eid comes, Eid al -Adha. Can we buy from his money Udhiyya? Uh, he said, if the money is too much, that means he's yani Musa, he has too much money and buying an Udhiyya will not significantly decrease the money, go for it. But if he doesn't have much and he's Musa and he's in hardship, then no, okay? Uh, also, <coughs> the issue if this guardian the person who's in charge of Wali, in charge of this orphan, can he take money from it for himself? Okay? Can he pay himself for taking care of it? قال الله تعالى وَمَنْ كَانَ غَنِيًّا فَلْيَسْتَعْفِرْ وَمَنْ كَانَ فَقِيرًا فَلْيَأْكُلْ بِالْمَعْرُوفِ If he's rich, then he should stay away from it. Okay? If he's rich, he doesn't need it, he should not touch it. But if he's poor and he needs money, فَلْيَأْكُلْ بِالْمَعْرُوفِ Then he eats what's reasonable. He takes what's reasonable. What is reasonable? What is al ma'ruf? Ibn Ma said, he looks at two things. He looks at what he needs and he looks at how much he would have been paid if he was to be given this job of taking care of the orphan. And which one he chooses? The higher or the lower? The lower. In other words, I'm 
my situation is not that great. They put me in charge of an orphan, take care of his money, whatever. Uh, I need money. I, I have a need. There is a need I need to fulfill, I need to pay my rent, whatever it is, for example. So we see how much is my need? $500. If I was to be paid for me taking care of this orphan and this orphan's money, and the orf, what is usually someone will be paid for this, let's say $600. How much money do I take? 11, 100, 500, okay? So always look at those two things and you take the list and that is, that is al ma'roof. <clears throat> so that's very much what uh, I needed to cover about this topic. Uh, Inshallah, and next time we will start to come at al قل قولي هذا واستغفر الله لي ولكم وصلى الله على محمد جزاكم الله خير السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته إن شاء الله next time I'll, I'll bring the zanzib uh, I just uh, was rushing out of the house uh, today uh, السلام عليكم